Although it may seem a little counterintuitive, sometimes you actually have to kill a tree in order to save the forest. And in this case, we might have to kill a lot of trees. Standing behind me is a stand of Ilanthus or Tree of Heaven. And we'll talk about this tree a little more in another video. But for the purposes of this video, understand that this is a highly invasive tree that is trying to crowd out this forest and kill off all of our native species. So in order to protect our native habitat, we're going to have to kill these trees. And this video is about how to kill invasive trees. So here's a very good example of a tree of heaven. You can see the smooth silvery bark that's classic for this tree. Pinately compound leaves. And what we're gonna do is something called the hack and squirt method. So the compound that we're gonna be using today is Triclopyr 4. This is a non-selective herbicide. This kills everything, but it's especially good for woody shrubs and trees. Now we're gonna be using a 50% dilution, so it's extremely concentrated. Just keep in mind that anything it drips on will die. Now, this really couldn't be more simple. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ax and we're gonna make a little hack right there in the bark. And then we're gonna take our non-specific herbicide and we're just gonna squirt a little bit in the crack. And it's just gonna kinda run in that hole. And then we're gonna do the same thing again about every four inches. And we're just gonna go all the way around the tree. Now, the reason I chose this method of killing these trees, as opposed to, say, girdling or cutting the trees down, is that these trees tend to sucker really, really badly. In other words, if they perceive that they've been injured, they will go ahead and send up hundreds or even thousands of little suckers all over the place. So now, instead of dealing with one tree, you've got an entire army to deal with. So doing it this way, they tend to be much less likely to have suckers, and also that herbicide gets sucked down into the roots and tends to kill any potential suckers that might occur. Now you do have to be a little bit careful because the herbicide could travel into neighboring trees. If you've got another tree that is intimately intertwined with this tree's root system, it could potentially kill that tree as well. So do be careful if you're going to be around other trees that you don't want to kill. And of course the other thing that's nice about killing them slowly like this and leaving them standing is that the dying trees will act as snags or wildlife habitat for small creatures that can make homes in them. I hear a woodpecker right up there. So that's it. That's just a real simple method we are using to kill the invasive species on this property. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comments section below. Please hit subscribe and check us out at projectogre.org for more information about our nonprofit. Thank you.